It's just 27 days since United season ended. Now they're on the verge of a new one. Their only friendly is here at a home from home. Villa Park, a chance to dot the I's and cross the T's before the real business begins next weekend. Hello everyone, welcome to Villa Park on a lovely late summer's afternoon. Ben Thornley is alongside me, it comes around quickly, doesn't it? But it certainly has done this time, yeah, there's no question. Uh, we've not had the, the, you know, the tours and the, the six or seven games that you've got to, to sort of build up to well, what everybody's doing today, but what United are obviously going to be doing next weekend. Um, and this is, the, uh, this is the test that we've got today. And what will Ollie be looking to, to get out of this? Miles and legs? Uh, I think it, most of the lads will have that anyway. I mean, obviously, we we realised that uh, there was 11, 12, maybe 13 of the players that did play a lot more football in the, uh, you know, sort of post lockdown when when we came back to to start the season again. But I think it'll be more sharpness, Stuart, to be perfectly honest with you. They, they, they shouldn't have lost that much fitness in the time that they've been away. So I think it's just getting some, yeah, a little bit of mileage into the legs, but also just that, that little bit of match sharpness that everybody loses um, when they've not played for a couple of weeks. Great place to come, this. An unbelievable record United have got here. It's uh, 25 years, a quarter of a century since United last lost here in the Premier League, the famous you win nothing with kids game, the Alan Hansen game. It's, it's a magical place for United, this, isn't it? It is. Um, like you said, that was the last time they lost when, when Alan Hansen came out and said that. It's been a... I mean, we have to also appreciate that Aston Villa haven't been in the Premier League for as long as Manchester United have, but they've always enjoyed playing here, whether it's been in semi-finals or whether it's been against Aston Villa in the league and they're going to need to not just today but they're going to need to come here at another stage during the season and make sure that they don't come unstuck because that is where United need to be more consistent and, and no disrespect to Aston Villa but you would expect them to be after last season sort of hovering around the you know the, the, the relegation places and th those were the, the types of games when you think that United lost to Watford they lost to Bournemouth, teams that got relegated if you've got aspirations to win the Premier League you can't be slipping up at places like Aston Villa. All right, let's hear from the boss, shall we? Here's Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Oli, welcome along. How excited are you on the verge of another season in charge of this football club? Ah, very. Of course, now it's uh, it's been a different pre-season. It's been a different summer, uh, but it's it's been a quick turnaround, but we're uh, we're excited, of course. We've we've uh, had a few few weeks away from each other and then uh, started again. And given how we've seen this team develop under you and the coach's guidance and what we saw particularly in the second half of last season, um, how happy are you with the progression and how close are we, do you think, to once again challenging for the very top honours? Uh, you were happy with the way the, we improved, we developed, of course, after uh, the January transfer window, uh, we've, uh, we lost... Uh, we lost two important games uh, in two semi-finals, but they were the two defeats we've had. And of course, they hurt. Those really hurt. But the, the way the team caught up, the uh, how many points I can't remember, 14 points or whatever it was, we had to catch up on top four, and we managed to. That gives us a very, very good uh, belief and gives us confidence that we can uh, kick on and move forward and improve again. You've definitely you and your coaches managed to improve our players and improve the performances. And, and on the players, there's sometimes a bit of a turnaround in the summer. You've seen Donny van der Beek arrive. Um, how has he settled into the group? Oh, he's been uh, training a couple of days only, but uh, he's, a, he's a bright, bubbly character. Uh, he, he wants to learn and uh, the first few uh, signs are positive. Uh, not that I uh, doubted that one, because I've followed him for a few years. Of course, we've We've, uh, he's been a talented youngster uh, and now I, I, we felt it was ready for him to come here. He felt it was uh, the best place to come. So for us, it's, uh, it's, it's a good transfer, a good move. Yes, yeah, so a really good bit of business there. And how do you see the rest of this transfer window, what, given how the market is shaping up right now? As you say, it's, it's been a strange, strange time and strange world and the financially I'm sure loads of clubs have uh, suffered and it looks like it because there's not been a lot of activity in the, in the, in the window. But we're always looking, we're always looking to improve the squad, we're scouting players, we're, uh, if there's something that fits both 
the financial bit and the football bit, of course, we'll 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 try to to make some business, but we can't can't know how the markets and how other clubs have been affected either. Harry Maguire, um, he's had um, a, a difficult summer uh, from what happened in Greece. So, what's the latest with Harry? How is he, and um, how are you thinking towards him in the new season? Well, of course, Harry, ha as you said, he's had a difficult summer. Uh, we didn't have a lot, a long break, and his his break was different to to others. His we we gave him a few more days, and his after he's come back, he's, he's looked fine. He's handled it uh, really well. And uh, of course, I'm going to be here to support him. Uh, he's going to be our captain, and we'll just leave Harry and his his people to uh, and the process to run. For for me, he's um, he's a top, absolute top human being, and he's always been uh, a positive guy and with the, with the right values. So I um, I really hope that we can see Harry performing at his best. Brilliant stuff. Uh Paul Pogba's had a bit of a difficult time as well with his positive test for coronavirus. So, um, how is he? Is he likely to be fit for the season's opener against Palace? Paul's uh, had a couple of tra training sessions. So, uh, and well, he's lost lost out on on a few sessions b because of the the virus, of course. But uh, Paul would be uh, he, he's quickly uh, he's quick to get fit. Of course, he worked really hard to get back after the lockdown last time. He played most of the majority of the games, and uh, hopefully, he'll be ready for next week weekend. I'm I'm not 100% sure though. Yeah, so hopefully, Paul will be fit. What about the players who missed the uh, tail end of last season, and what's the latest with your injury news? Well, f for me, uh, Luke has been looking really good in training. He's uh, he's come back uh, looking strong, so he'll. He'll play play the friendly uh, against Villa, and then Axel is getting closer as well. Uh, so in a few weeks' time, I would guess that he's with us training full time, and then hopefully we can give him games uh, quickly. Um, you mentioned the Villa friendly there. Um, yep. How important is the, that game in your pre-season preparations? Well, it's going to be a game to give players minutes. Uh, some have trained uh, more than others uh, and some will be more ready than others but and some have played international games which uh, actually sometimes you think mm, you don't really want that but uh, some of them got valuable minutes there and then we'll give the others minutes now against Villa so we can all start on a on a decent level because it's going to be a long season so the result is not going to matter at all. The, the performance and the, the fitness work is going to be important. Finally, what would you say to all of our fans all over the world who will be having to watch you on the TV? We can't get them <laughs> around anymore. So uh, what would you say? Well, thanks for the support so far. You, the, we, we know they're there with us. They, we, uh, we're going to keep on improving and hopefully the next time they come uh, back to Old Trafford, uh, they've got uh, uh, a team to, uh, to support that they really like. Well, this is the team that Oli has picked today, and there's a United debut for new signing Donny van der Beek. Uh, Luke Shaw returns to fitness in a back four, which also gives chances to Diogo Delo and Tim fosu -Mensa. Dean Henderson gets the nod in goal, and Marcus Rashford, who, who was missing for international duty, he's fit enough to play here. That's the Manchester United lineup. Really a mix of, of youth and experience of regulars and fringe players. Ben, what do you make of it? Yeah, so eyebrow raises there for, for definite. I was probably expecting to see a few more of the players that maybe you, you will be expecting to see against Crystal Palace next week. But um, Oli Gunnar has got his own reasoning for, for picking that team and, and for the squad that he's brought down here. So um, he's going to be looking at the likes of obviously Donny van der Beek, the new signing, how he how he beds himself in. Uh, and and a little bit of mileage for Luke Shaw, who was playing so, so well before he got injured um, in the last few games of the of last season. So there'll be a few people, and obviously there'll be people that will be, that will be looking to impress the manager, thinking that, you know, themselves they probably won't be starting next week, but who knows, with a week to go, a really good performance today, it could uh, it could make the manager, you know, sort of prick his ears up a little bit. Yeah, no, it's probably quite a big afternoon for, for one or two of the fringe players and a few youngsters on the Manchester United bench as well. So we're looking forward to this. This is it. 
the only pre-season game that United are playing before beginning their Premier League campaign. And the only place to watch the whole game is on MUTV. You'll see it 10 p.m. British summertime tonight on MUTV. We'll see you there from Villa Park for now. It's goodbye.